today we're going to check meta humans i've been playing around with this and uh, this stuff is looking amazing i did a couple of exports and animation tests yesterday with unreal engine and uh, things working pretty good i like the quality of the meta humans and the ability that you can really design human uh, based on a photo okay so today i'm going to show you a couple of uh, you know quick options that you can export your meta humans into unreal engine and then we're going to check how we can apply animation by redirecting our skeleton from the downloaded animations that we've got in marketplace and apply them to this character that we're going to bring from meta humans okay so um, here the meta human being loaded you can apply for the program when they approve you you'll be able to access that promptly okay so uh, take some time to load all the assets and everything so we got to give it a couple of seconds here a couple of minutes actually to get uh, all the humans up and running and uh, so while this launching let me actually launch my unreal 426 because we're going to use that also uh, meta humans so far they work for unreal 426 i don't think they work in the earlier versions so let's uh, launch our unreal and see how this goes i hope the recording is not really overloading this whole process because i i feel like um, the load up being a little bit too slow okay so normally i just you know launch it and uh, do something else okay so uh, let me just show you while this thing loads what i've done yesterday i was playing around bringing different characters so again not everything perfect i guess just because the skeletons have different size in the body um, some things can go through like arms can go through okay right so um, we can see two characters already showing up here and my unreal also launching so let's go and explore meta humans so basically what you have is my meta humans that those that you created i created a couple of those guys here i know my graphic card is not high quality enough but you can see those guys uh, getting their hair when i'm really coming close to that uh, character to that model oops yeah, you can see very high quality i like the eyes and everything it looks pretty cool yeah, so this guy trying to clap <laughs> all right so that's another second character that i got out and you can see it's a little bit um but the skin looks pretty good you can see all the pores and everything very good quality okay so here's the guy giving thumbs up and I used another one that he's kind of injured or something you can see the arm goes through so again nothing uh, is perfect but we we get a really cool motion here and like from this angle you don't really see that arm so again you can use that just you know place it rotate it so that you won't be able to see things if you want to hide them you can okay now let's go back to our meta humans and explore a couple of options so let's do create a human and uh, let's load let's load something here so woman let's do a woman design we got two men so let's use this one and let's click next you can see uh, the woman here with the basic animation we have a couple of other animations for the phone for the face facial 
and we also have the body stretch form so we can see her stretching here looking at the arms okay now if we click sculpt we can go and start uh, sculpting this And using those controllers, we can really fix the face. But let's go and see all the all the features that we have here. So we can do blends. We can blend her with a white person. We can blend her with Asian. We can blend. Let's do a black person. I think this is like someone. Natalia. This looks like something Slavic. Let's get this one. And let's do this one. Okay, so five people we can mix okay now if we do the blend let me just put it like that so with the blend we can see we chose the nose and we can go between uh, noses so I'm gonna do maybe uh, something like this then with the eyebrows let's go and do more a little bit Asian chicks it's an Asian chicks let's do Russian <laughs> Slavic chin okay so we can do mixes with the faces like that we can sculpt it manually just by dragging this you can see it's getting a little bit more <laughs> all right so we got a lot of cool controllers and we can also do the move move is just like really uh, moving this <laughs> we're gonna make some beautiful women today huh As you can see pretty cool stuff uh, we don't see the ears we need to fix the haircut so uh, let me do it a little bit more with bigger eyes something like this okay in. we can choose texture contrast wrinkles accents it's all related color for the skin eyes we can choose brown green gray teeth Big teeth, small teeth, it's the big teeth. Different variation of teeth. Makeup. You can choose makeup. Head. <laughs> okay, that's a, it's a little bit too much. Let's give it a short hair haircut. Okay. can make it color here roughness you can choose any color this looks kind of cool blunt I 
eyebrows. Eyelashes. Well, beard, obviously. Woman not gonna have any beard. Mustache. Yeah. And then we can choose type of body. Okay, looks a little like Angela Merkel. <laughs> okay. Tops. Uh, we can choose the colors. Bottoms. Same thing here. We can choose which color to wear. Shoes. We can choose different shoes. Put this one. Alright, very colorful. Young Angela Merkel. <laughs> okay, not a fence, it's just a joke, alright? So, um, that's how you basically design that human here. You can do little adjustments. I like that, that's really looking like. So what we know. Alright. Pretty good stuff. Oh, and with the ears, you know, I just wanted to show you you can really control the ears here too. But you can see it only with a short haircut. Okay. Alright, so this stuff is um, already saved. We, we're just getting this message that only LODs 0 and 1 will be um, will be displayed uh, since this is a really um, good quality so uh, everything with the lower quality won't be I, I maybe it's related to my graphic card I'm not sure but once this thing is done you know I can actually um, I can actually close it I'm not gonna close it but let me go and check my bridge because this thing connected with the bridge and we go here into meta humans and I have my meta humans okay and here we go we have new this is the lady that was just added I guess I need to close this one refresh my meta humans all right so we have this Hadley woman it's her name I hope I pronounce it now uh, right but now we're going to uh, generate it takes some time to generate and to download it so while this happening let me go and just Let's launch my epic again, the 426, and uh, set up the scene so we can import that woman into the scene and see how we can get uh, some animation on this. Okay, so again, it only works for 426 and up. I think the ray tracing and the materials there, everything. I'm gonna click new. Um, let's do blank. I'm gonna use starter content and let's call it woman. All right, so the generating started here. Again, if you're uh, in a hurry to create something, just make sure uh, you're gonna wait. Uh, like maybe 20 minutes half an hour to get everything done okay so hopefully it will go faster this time okay so my scene here up and running it's good and I'm gonna bring here 
I'm gonna bring uh, let's bring HDRI HDRI backdrop just gonna put it here uh, floor we don't need I'm just gonna delete it Sun sky we don't need I'm gonna delete it too okay now the HDRI backdrop starts to work so this how it's looking okay all right now here we'll be ready to bring our human let's go back to our bridge you can see it's still generating so while it's generating I don't wanna uh, waste your time and let's just export this dude basically it's the same principle for uh, working here so you see that the dude's being exported and his name is Cooper okay so we need to enable missing plugins so those will be ad additional to us and we also need to restart it let's save that and restart it's always a good practice yesterday when i was bringing those i actually had to restart a couple of times i'm not sure why it didn't work maybe because of my graphic card or some issues it's not really supporting again it's still all gtx gtx um, i'm gonna get a new computer i promise so you know so we can do some real time ray tracing okay now um let's see we got meta humans we got cooper here i see that something is still building here okay so in the viewport uh, we can see Cooper kind of getting his shaders on slowly okay there we go got the hair and we got his blueprint and we got his uh, here, I guess the controllers all right so while it's compiling here let's go and download some animations I'm going to open my Epic Games Launcher and let's go to Marketplace type in animation and if we go to free we'll be able to get this uh, striker pose or the animation starter pack both of them are I think pretty much the same so I'm gonna use this uh, striker pose add let's add it to that woman and now it's been added to that project 14 key poses plus 600 animations so a lot of stuff a bunch of poses I think some of them also like you can animate a lot of that stuff is there okay so it was added now let's go to our unreal content pose animations animations walks and here we get a lot of those walks for example guy here we go so we can see it's walking i mean his shader is still compiling but I got this cool animation going on okay so this guy I'll double click when I go inside we can see the whole skeleton here so I'm gonna go to assets I'm gonna go to skeleton here so I can see my skeleton and uh, 
retarget manager sorry and here we need to choose select humanoid rig so basically what we're gonna do we're gonna take the animation from this guy and put it on our character uh, Cooper Mr. Cooper okay so uh, view the pose that's our A pose and uh, show advanced here in advanced I'm gonna go and delete some of those so before we delete those let's do show retargeting options animation animation and everything here set up to skeleton I need to set up those two animations as well so if it's set up to something else just go and uh, do this restrictly set transformation retargeting to skeleton so everything here gotta be skeleton and the first one is animation and animation okay that's how we're gonna set this character up click save okay I'm gonna actually close this and I'm gonna go into my meta human here Cooper I'm gonna drag and drop Cooper here so you can see Cooper slightly smaller F. let's put them on the same level with the ground I'm gonna disconnect my snapping so I can do it nicely okay and Cooper too all right okay so I'm gonna move that here in Cooper actually in meta humans common female medium normal body here we have the meta human base skeleton so I don't know why they hide it like that but that's that's the guy that we're going to work with now I need to change that from the genes I want to put it in the on the body it's a woman that's a man and I think it's slightly maybe an overweight body that's the guy okay so doing this as our guy we need to show let's do first we're targeting select here humanoid rig then here we're going to show we get retargeting and we need to retarget this to animation so the first two root and pelvis and then all the rest here needs to be set to skeleton okay so let's do the skeleton Okay, now if we do show here bones all here or here, we can see uh, the hierarchy of the bones. And here we do show names. So if we look at the name, we can see that 0, 1 is low, then 2, 3, and 4 uh, in our spine. Okay and uh, if we take a look in our guy here his skeleton bones names he got a slightly different spine the three is all the way up where the four is the two is in the middle and the one is here so we need to change those for uh, retargeting and we're gonna go to our retarget manager show advance 
me open it big. Show base, so in the base, we can see spine 1, 2 and 3, so we need to change that from 1 to 2, 2 we're gonna change to 3, and 3 we're gonna change to 4, okay? That's how we're gonna shift them up. Now we can also show advance, we can delete the IKs here. Well, they already deleted, but uh, if you have them just click on those X's and delete all of those IKs. I guess it remembered from previous time when I was bringing this guy in. But the IKs, you know, they gotta go. Maybe there's a way to bring it back, not sure. Okay, so let's click save here. And all of that structure needs to be into skeleton. Okay. Gonna close that. Now we can start doing retargeting. I'm gonna go to my animations, walks. Uh, let's do let's do this one. What is this? Something like that. Let's try it. I'm gonna right click on that. Uh, retarget animation, duplicate animation asset. And here we have the meta human skeleton selected. So uh, I'm gonna nothing shows here. So I'm gonna click with target. Let's see. Uh, something got screwed up. And I think this is our base model that needs to be changed. Again, I'm kind of new to this. I haven't done this many times, but I kind of understand how this thing should work. So if we go to, again, back to metahumans, um, female, medium. Oh, forgot actually to do something. In this pose, if I go to my guy here, I can actually select him and tell him to use asset of that walk. But again, you can see it's, uh, I don't know what it is. It compiled good, but it screwed up the guy completely because we didn't use the right, uh, the, the right metahuman uh, body. Oh, no. Let's go common, female, medium, body. And here we have to change this to overweight medium and apply to asset okay so that's what we forgot to do here we click save and i guess we need to do another retargeting i'm gonna delete this guy and hopefully this will work this time okay so uh, let's go poses animations box Let's get this walk, retarget. All right, so we got the human here. Okay, now if we click, double click, we can see the guy is walking. And I think this time it's gonna work. So let me browse my asset. What I can do actually, I don't need to go to my asset and change it here. Uh, dun, 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 body. So I don't need to change it here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make a clone, a child of my dude and bring the child in. So that way I can make as many as many as I want. All right. Now I'm going to lift it up a little bit like that. Okay. Now double click on this guy and here in the body just select this walk. And voila, you're ready to go. Okay. Here we go. Two of our dudes are walking. Nicely. Okay. Alright, 
so I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you can now uh, work with MetaHumans, export those models, put some animations on it and uh, have your MetaHumans live walking inside Unreal Engine, okay? So thanks a lot for watching, subscribe to my channel, this is Alex, talk soon, ciao!